A former 343 dev reveals why contract work was so detrimental to Halo Infinite's development. So a game dev here hit up Twitter just kind of talking about saying how the transition to Halo Infinite to Unreal is both surprising while also sensible at the same time. Basically because, you know, 343 really touted that the Slip Space engine was going to be the ground foundation that's going to be needed to make Halo Infinite's 10 year life cycle will become a reality. And we all thought it was going to be, and then we've obviously seen over the past year of Halo Infinite's development, that Slow Space Engine has been the most difficult hurdle to get over. One of the most credible gaming insiders right here, Jason Schreier, talked about the development of Halo Infinite's biggest struggle was the labor and the reliance on contract work because they can only stay there for 18 months and then they're out. We recently had an X343 dev come out on Twitter and say why it's been so difficult working with contractors for the development of Halo Infinite. The former multiplayer lead at 343, Patrick Wren, said that it took a minimum of six months to ramp someone up on slip space just for them to do minimum work, and then after six months to really work at speed. So from a development standpoint, you really only get one year of actual true development time with these contractors, and then they're just gone. I also want to say that this is not a 343 issue. This is a Microsoft as a company as a whole do this a lot. I should know. I worked as a contractor at Microsoft for some time as well. An interesting thing about this thread is that this developer here talks about why switching to Unreal would actually be a great thing because this contractor thing is not going away anytime soon when it comes to Microsoft's business practices. And then he actually agrees saying that this is actually a huge thing basically saying that like with the switch to Unreal, that it really allows people to kind of just jump in and start working because Unreal Engine is such a uniformly accepted engine to develop in. And as you can see within the careers page at 343, they have no positions available, which I think there are a few now. And this Microsoft wide hiring freeze is really going to hurt the development of Halo Infinite moving forward. Hence why they're probably looking forward to probably just creating a new game utilizing the Unreal Engine. Now this is a developing story. So as soon as we know more information about this Unreal Engine news, I'll let you guys know here on the channel.